Check one. Can everyone see me and hear me okay? Check it, check, check. Check a Rama. You enable the chat do hickey. Get everyone over here real quick. Check one. Cool. All right, let's get rolling. So chat me, folks. See if you can chat me up here. I've got the chat module going. So let's get cranking and banking. Rolling and reeling with the feeling. Okie madokie. Cool. Can everyone see me and hear me okay? Let's see if this gets going. Video quality is not blowing me away, but uh, in a pinch, it will work. Cool. So, can everyone see and hear me okay? Check one. Today, welcome, Paraland. Can someone paste the link for Paraland? Thank you very much, Greg H. Always quick on the spot. Cool. All right. Well, let's get rolling. Let's do our uh, stretch real quick. 
Shake them out. Okay, hold them back a little bit. Give it a good stretch. Gonna need this today. Okay, hold it. All right. Shake it out. Stretch this one. Okay. Shake that out. All right. Reeling with the feeling. Let's get the notes going here. So take a look at our notes for today. Now, you may be struck when you first look at our notes and think, that is a wad of notes, tons and tons of notage. Well, the good news is it's not that bad. It looks like it's a ton, but it's really not that much because most of it is simple stuff that, you should already kind of know, so it shouldn't be too bad. Now, you'll notice there that there are two presets. We've got an overloud preset and an amplitude 3 preset, and the amplitude 3 preset is using the 5150 head, which is a spiff head. So if you've got overloud or amplitude 3, there's a nice high gain preset for you, which have both been shredder approved and will work well with what we're doing today. So someone asked, how do we put the presets in? Well, you just navigate to your presets directory um, and then just copy, you know, the preset in there. And then when you start Amplitude again, it'll just show up. There's the boss man. Let me tell him the deal. I don't have a preset folder or an amplitude folder. Well, if, if you've got amplitude installed, there's a preset folder for it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have any presets. Um, but, oh, Corbel, yeah, you've got to um, make sure, like, I think think you may have downloaded the, uh, the amplitude metal preset. The amplitude metal presets are different than the amplitude 3 preset, right? So if you're running amplitude 3, amplitude metal presets won't work. So download, if using Amplitude 3, download the Amplitude 3 preset and copy it in there. Like when you click on presets, when you're in Amplitude 3, you click on presets. And if you said um, 3.9, yeah, that'll work. And if you said save, like open any preset and say save as, it'll pop up a little window and show you where your presets live. Right? And if you still can't find them, you can run a search, just say file, find, and say one of the preset names that you're normally using, it'll show up and that's where your presets are. And just copy it in, restart um, Amplitude and should show up. So the Amplitude 3 presets have that extension AT3MP or whatever. So yeah, give that a shot. Let's take a look at our first bit here, 133A. Hopefully this is easy peasy. No problem at all. Something we should be familiar with. So, real simple stuff. Right? Uh, you, we can chat here. Whatever works for y'all, it works for me. We can even do both. So, let me pull up our metronome here, and let's try and do a quickie of 133 Part A. See if we can get a little drummage going. About 120, quick test. Okay, tell me if that's too fast. Hopefully it's not. Okay. I don't see any chats on Google. That's okay. We can use Guitar Master Press for chat. That's totally fine. So, let's try 133A. Here we go. One, two. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
just put a little pause and play it again. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, that's all there is to it. Let's put a little speed on that. 140. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, and here are the lesson notes in case someone does not have them. Okay, we're on part A. Let's speed up again. Here's 160. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, is that pretty easy? Hopefully. Here's 170 real quick. Three, four. Oops, am I playing the wrong thing? That's entirely possible. 133A, 057. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. My bad. Uh, uh, yes, it's three, it's three down, it's that thing. I'm totally sorry, my bad. This is just a, a, a warm-up thing, which I didn't even include. We skipped straight to this. Sorry about that. My bad. Good catch. So we're going, going up, up three, and then down one. Okay? So I didn't even include the uh, easy version. We're skipping straight to the hard version. But good catch... So let's slow down and do the hard version. Let's go back to 120 real quick. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's speed that up. Here's 130. One. One, two, three, four. Here's one forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's one fifty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Tackle me if I start going too fast. Here's 170. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now, you'll notice when I'm playing this that I'm only striking the first one. The next two, I'm hammering on. So I'm going open and then hammer on. Okay. So strike once, hammer on the next two. All right. How's the speed? How's that working for you guys? Is it uh, playable? And you can chat me on uh, uh, GMC or on Google Hangout. Either way. I don't see anybody chatting on Google Chat, though. So I guess we will use GMC Chat, which is totally cool, too. Either way. Cool. All righty. Let's go up again. Speed is 180 real quick. One, two, one, two, three, four. Ninety. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's one fifty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's one sixty. One, two, one, two, three, four. 
two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> How's uh how's that feeling just in general? Is that uh, working out okay? Because now we are a tad behind, so I am rushing just a little bit. If that is working, though, we can probably go ahead and move on to our next bit. Because that's really just our warm-up. Now that you um, get the string pattern... Not good. <laughs> is it just too fast? Where is it? Where is it falling down? Well, let's try the next bit. We'll go slow again. So go down to part B, okay? And let's go back to 120. So all we're doing in part B is basically stretching a little bit. We're putting our uh, our fingers a little further out. So take a look at 133B, and there's a guitar pro five file and the tablature. So now we're going 0, 5, 8. So strike the first note, and we're on the next two notes. And instead of, it's just, and use your pinky. Okay, don't use your third finger. Use your pinky. It's meant to be a pinky thing. Welcome, guest. Let me tell him the deal real quick. Okay, got him invited. So, 133B, same idea, right? Up three, down one. Okay. All right, let's give that a shot. There's 120. Two, three, four. Okay, let's do that thing where we pause it and then play it again. So we'll do it, say, twice at each speed. All right? One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so like put a little gap in there and then play it again. Here's 130. One, two, one, two, three, four. Alright, so I'm just going to keep marching the speed up. Let me know if I start going too fast. It was 140. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, is that feeling okay? 150. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Okay, here's 190. One, two, one, two, three, four. How, by the way, before I go all the way to 200, how is this one doing? Is this one still okay now that we're using the pinky and everything? The pinky can be a little harder if you're not used to using the pinky, but hopefully it's not too much of a crazy stretch. It's good. Cool. Let's try 190. Here we go. One, two, four, two, three, four. All right. Let's try 200. Okay, so hopefully it's working out for everyone. Scroll down a little bit in our notes. Let's move on to our next bit. Look at 133 part C. Now you'll notice that 133 part C, same thing. We're just moving the pinky out one more fret, okay? So now we're doing what we were doing a little bit. Oh, it fell apart. We'll slow back down. We're doing what we were doing, um, I think, one or two lessons ago where we had the wide stretch. That thing. So we're just going to do it as strike and then hammer on. Okay, and use your pinky. So we're really only making it harder because we're doing um, three and then one, three and then one, as opposed to doing it straight. Okay? So it's a little more of a twister for your hands. Let's try it at 120. Two hundred not working for you, huh? I can totally understand that. Here's 120. Okay. So play it twice. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, now let's march this one up in speed. Tell me when it starts to not feel so great. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, here's one forty. Here's two 
200 with our crazy stretch. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> How's that? How's that doing? That's got a crazy stretch and some crazy speed. But um, if you pull it off just so, it sounds kind of spiff. Is it uh, doable in the range of doability, or is that a bit much? More of a maybe baby than a reeling with the feeling. <laughs> What's the matter, Corblitz? What's the deal? <laughs> it's all good, dude. Um, I was just trying to find the upper edge of where it starts to not work real well. But it seems to be 180 or so. So we'll keep our max at around 180 for the rest of our bits. It just takes a minute, Von Hatch. Don't worry, man. We kind of jumped straight in and didn't have a whole lot of time to sort of warm into it because we lost a little time at the at the top. So I'm sort of pushing a little faster than I normally would. But uh, give your give your hands a minute; they'll they'll adapt. They'll get they get used to it. I'm just uh, sort of moving a lot quicker than I normally would. Um, let's see. Yes, I jumped straight into Crazy Land and skipped the warm up. <laughs> which can be daunting. Here's what I'm trying to get to, and we can slow this down. We don't have to play this fast. Um, take a look. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. I hear you, Corbett. Let's, let's slow it down a little bit. Here's where I was wanting to get to. Look at um, 133 part D real quick. Oh, welcome guest. Greg H., can you thank you very much. That's our guest. There goes our guest. Okay. So, yeah. Um, 133 Part D, here's where I was really trying to get to. So, 133D is tabbed out to go all the way up and then all the way back down. All right? So, it's the same notes. Okay, so your hand should be trained to play it. It's just tabbed up and down, which makes it a lot more easy to loop, right? So what I'm hoping we can do is try them um, in up-down fashion instead of just doing what we're doing, which is just going up. So let's try this one in up-down, but let's do it really slow. Okay, so let's not do it at 200 beats a minute. Oh, hello, Art. How'd you know our guest's name? Blister, that's very cool. So let's try that um, maybe even slower than normal. Let's try it maybe 110. Oh, the Google Chat thingy. Why can't I see anybody's chats in Google Chat? What the heck? I can only see mine. I've got a group chat, but I just can't see anybody else's chats in Google. Can you guys see mine? Enable auto updates. I don't have an auto update button. Suck. Huh. Maybe it's because I'm on group chat. Oh, comment. 
Yeah, the I'm not using the the YouTube comments. I'm actually using the the Google Hangout chat. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not actually using comments, um, but I can pull that up. Well, actually, it's easier just to use a, a chat probably because I don't actually have – I've got the, the, the Hangout client up, not the YouTube page. The chat is part of the group chat inside the Hangout. Let me see if I can get you guys the link to the Hangout itself. Yeah, we can all chat, but you guys are going to be inside this Hangout. And I don't know if I can do that without everyone actually being part of my Google group, which is kind of iffy. I think that's what's gone. What's going on? Let me pull up the Hangout just on a web page and see if it'll let people just do a public chat thing, because that way it would be handy. Oh, I see. I think you have to be running the actual Google Google Hangout plugin thingy, Mabobble. But the good news is, if you were running it, you guys could share your camera with me, which could be really cool. There's Slavinko. Somebody give Slavinko the link here. The Google Chat plugin. Let me see. And I think you'd actually have to be logged in to um, to Google Plus. Google Plus is this uh, sort of extension to Gmail. But I think I'd have to actually invite everyone with their email instead of I don't even know if it's possible for everyone to just hop in uh, public. Let me see. That's the thingy my bubble. I'm here, Slavinko. And this, they make this kind of a pain in the neck, don't they? Go to plus.google.com and my hangout.
is called tech with space Todd. And if you if you can pop over there, you can actually see the live chat too. But if not, we can just use the the Google thing uh, because we're trying to get everyone on board. Can does uh, can anyone see the plus Google thing? Yeah, we'll we'll have to. Go a little longer, probably. If not, we can just keep doing what we're doing. I'll pull up the Google spread, the Google, um, I'm sorry, the YouTube thing, and so that I can see what you guys are doing there as well. Yep, there's that. There we go. Test. There. That'll work. Okay. So we can chat that way. Can you guys see that? Yeah, we can skip all that mess. Um, I've, I'm on the YouTube page so I can see you guys chats now so that'll work too okay cool well let's just do that all right spiff okay me dokey so yeah let's move on to our next little bit here Cool. All right. So let's try and do it all the way up and all the way down. All right. At 110. So it's going to be quick demo like this. Okay. Now, if um, doing it as a hammer-on is not working for you, you can you can pitch strike all of it if it makes it easier to keep even. Okay. If that helps, go ahead and do it that way. So try it with me, all the way up, all the way down. Here we go. One, two, three, four. See if I'm the two. Okay. Hit the metal chat with me. So um, did that work at that speed? Is that speed okay, guys? Let's try it at 120. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. Where's your Ivan Wes? Hyphos. My Hyphos is right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. 
If my high phones it's very metal. Oh. So let's try it at 120. Actually, let's try it maybe 130. Here's 130. And we're going to try and play it all the way up, all the way down, and then again. Okay, so up, down, up, down. One, two. One, two, three, four. Did that work? Heavy metal or no mental at all? <laughs> I say no mental. No mental at all. Maybe a little mental. I, I'm a little mental myself, you know. So I'm a little mental. So uh, is that speed okay? Now the stretch in there is a little bit ridiculous, but hopefully it's nothing beyond the level of uh, you guys. Why nicked? Why nicked mental? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Welcome guest. He can't see or hear us. Someone would paste our guest in the link. Let's try 140 doing the same thing. The hippos is mental. <laughs> Thank you. We fill him in. And there goes the guest. Uh, guests are not going to work with this very well. So let's try 140 up and down twice. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, is that still working? Hopefully. Here's 150, same thing. One, two, one, two, three, four. Todd, you use battery programmable? Uh, I do, every now and then, but I prefer um, to use uh, Easy Drummer. The sound gets weird. Oh dear! So, can I make it all the way down and up before the sound gets weird? Does it get weird on the second rotation or or the end of the first? Okay, then let's not do it twice because I don't want the sound to get too weird. Um, yeah, can I make it all the way through once? <laughs> um, all the way up and down before it starts. Uh, battery's not bad. I prefer Easy Drummer or BFD Eco. Easy Drummer, yes, X Drummer is very easy. That's why they call it Easy Drummer. At the end of the first, well, crap. Easy and cheap. That's easy, drummer. And no, it doesn't drink. Okay, well, let's 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 try it just once then, instead of twice. So let's speed up again. Here's one sixty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, here's 170. One, two, one, two, 
Yes, Easy Drummer is cheap and doesn't drink. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, 190. Savinko has got to get some heavy mental sleep. Yes, get some heavy mental sleep, Slavinko. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Always late for me, Tada. I'm always late for myself. <laughs> we'll see you next time, dude. All right, here's 200 beats a minute. Good night, Tovarish. One, two, one, two, three, four. Was that a bit brisk and crazy? How do I add to Google Plus? Um, well, just go to Google Plus and add me. Too crazy for me. It is a little crazy. I'm tech with space Todd. I can't find you. We're going to search for uh, tech with Todd or try Todd Squad XYZ. Lost at 190. I think 180 is roughly our cap. I tell you what, let's do. Let's back off to 180. So the stretch is okay. Everyone can do the stretch. Here's what I want to try and do. We're going to play it just like we did a minute ago, right? At 180 beats a minute. But we're not going to play it at those frets. I want you to take the whole thing and move it up. One fret. Okay? Good night, Slavinko. So instead of 059, we're going to go 0610. And it's going to sound completely weird. But just move the whole thing up one fret. <laughs> It'll sound completely atonal, but that's okay. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> what do you think? Is that the YYZ craziness or what? That worked? Cool. Okay, move up one more fret. Same thing. Move the whole deal up one more fret. Okay, here we go. Same speed. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually doing the exercise ahead, which is to move your pinky up one more fret beyond. But that should have been 0, 7, 11. And I was doing 0, 7, 12, but that's next. So let's do 0, 7, 11 one more time. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that's 0, 7, 11. Now... We're going to do 0, 7, 12. Okay? All right, here we go. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. How's that? That actually starts to slip more into being sort of harmonic again and being less dissonant. It is very stretchy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so here's what I want you to try and do, okay? Variation, instead of playing it like we have been doing, right? Hello, Adolf. Bye-bye, Adolf. Thank you very much, Greg H. So instead of doing it up three, down one, let's play it straight. So one, 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 just play it all the way up and all the way down, except... We're going to play each string four times. Okay? So, 0, 7, 12, four times. Then move up a string. And just back down. So, just one string at a time, okay? At 180. Here we go. One, two, three, four. What do you think about that? <laughs> Did that work out? <laughs> Bet you didn't think you could pull that off, did you? Sounds pretty stiff, though, doesn't it? It is pretty tough. And that speed's probably a little ridiculous. Let's back off the speed. Let's go to 160, which is about like this. Okay. Now here's what I want you to do. We're going to play it um, in that type of hammering quads thing we just did, where we do four on each string. But now I want you to do the string spacing thing we've been doing, which is up three, down one. Up three, down one. So we're going to add both those things together using the same frets, 0, 7, 12. So it'll sound like this. <laughs> See what I'm saying? We're going to go, but we're going to do it in groups of four. So your fingers might get a little confused, but let's try it. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. What do you think about that? That's probably pushing it a little into crazy town. But I wanted to try it. Cool, good deal. Okay, let's take our speed. Spiff, huh? Let's take our speed up and our complexity down. So, yes, now you know how to start a hangout. <laughs> so let's go back to doing it straight. Okay. But what I want you to do is, instead of playing it four times on each string, play it only twice, because we're going to speed up some, and it'll sound different. So let's go back to 180 and play it twice on each string. Quick demo. Okay. One, 
two, one, two, three, four. Now let's bump the speed up. Tell me if this goes into crazy land. Here's 190. One, two, one, two, three, four. How'd that go? Is that a bit crazy? That's okay. Cool. Too fast. That's no problem. Let's back off the speed a bit. Here's another variation. What I want you to try and do, you know how we've been playing either, it does sound like an 8-bit game, <laughs> either 2 or 4. We're going to play it. Let's go back to 180. We're going to play it twice and then move up, move the whole thing up one fret and play it twice again. So... And then O eight thirteen. So okay, and now play that all the way up, just one string at a time, and then all the way down. So it'll sound like this. All right? But we're not going to play it that fast. Let's try it at, say, 160. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Actually, before I go through all that, did that even work going up? Did that work okay? The doubles like that? Okay, cool. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's just play it um, going up, okay? Let's try it again. Here we go. Sorry, I'm doing it fours. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think I missed the last one. Makes sense? Okay. Another variation. Do what we're doing, but do it twice as long on each string. So go... Twice, 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 twice. Okay, and that's an endurance thing. So here we go, 160. Alright, did that work? Is that pattern workable or is that a little too crazy? Cool! This is a great way. It is sounding pretty trippy. And this actually is musical enough to where you could put this in a song as a, maybe a lead bit or a rhythm bit, but that that note sequence is harmonic enough to where you could actually use it, I mean, in music. Right? 
Okay. Next variation. You ready? This is pure endurance. No more back and forth. Just one string, but each one eight times. So... <laughs> Okay, just straight up, eight times each. Now, if your hand begins to cramp and fall off, stop playing. Okay, here we go. Let's try it at uh, 160. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, how's that? Did anyone's hand fall off? And that's a pretty thick stretch there as well. Cool. That is a really good endurance exercise. Um, just as far as getting lots of endurance in your stretch, because the stretch at first can feel like weak, like your fingers are going, I can barely do this. So forcing them to do it in repetition is a way to make them much stronger. Now, you remember last week when we took our stretch exercises and made them into tapping exercises, right? Let's do that same thing here. So go up to the high E, and this, the same frets we've been working on. Okay, now take your first finger. Okay, tap on the 14th fret on the high E. Okay, so 14, 12, 7, 0. Okay, let's just loop that for a little bit. Let's go 160. Like that. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Does that work as a tapping exercise? Hopefully from last week we've got some tapping skills down. No, not too good. Is it too fast? Let's slow the speed down. Let's go to say 140. Quick demo again. So That way we're doing a pull-off with one finger, which is something that I want you to practice as well. One, two, one, two, three, four. How's that speed? Is that a little better? Cool. Okay. So now let's do that. Play that four times. Take your first finger, move it 
up one fret. So from the 14 to the 15, it'll sound like this. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Nope, I'm messing it up. One, two, three, four. Okay. Is that working? Hopefully. What I want you to, to basically do is get used to moving the right hand around, right? Because it can change the way an entire sequence sounds. So even if our left hand stays still, if we just move the right hand one fret at a time, it'll totally change the way the thing sounds. Quick demo. Right? And all I'm doing there is moving one finger up. Okay? Now, playing it four times on each may get confusing. Let's play it twice and then move the finger up, right finger up, one fret. So... All right? Let's try that. Here we go. 140. Did that work? That is actually some fairly extreme tapping because we're doing, um, what, how many fret stretch is that? We're doing a five fret stretch and we're doing um, a full, you know, pull off three finger tapping thing. We're not just going. which would be like the Van Halen sort of tap. We're actually going to an open string with it. So it's it's an entire order of magnitude more difficult because you've got to do this pull-off to an open string, which is its own art. <laughs> Let's slow that down just a little bit. Let's slow it down try it one more time. Here's 130. Same thing. One. One, two, three, four. Did I just cut the speed in half? That's okay. Let's play it at that speed. One, two, one, two, three, four. That, actually, you know what? It does sound like bag, bagpipes because it's almost like octaves because the notes are so far apart. It does have a bagpipe vibe. Let's try one more time. One, two, one, two, three, four. What do you think? It does have a bagpipey thing. It's got a Scottish sort of, I don't know, Celtic bagpipey vibe to it. Good ear. Hopefully that works for everyone. Okay, before we split and move on, something our next thing. Let's try and do our finger doubles, finger finger double tap, double tap thingy. Remember that? So, same frets, but with your right hand double tap. So, let 
right? Just tap twice with your right finger. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. How's double tapping? Until you get used to it, double tapping can feel really awkward. Um, once you do get used to it, it can add a whole new dimension to your tapping. Tapping and sliding both can really add something to your tapping. If you're double tapping and sliding, you remember the slide? Well, basically you slide up one fret, You can alternate your double tapping and your sliding. Oops. Let's actually, you know what? We've been playing for um, quite a while without doing any sort of shake out. Let's shake it out for a little bit here. Give our wrists a little bit of room here. Maybe give a light massage in there a little bit. Maybe do a gentle stretch. Oh, I'm feeling some tension, actually, now that I notice it here. Stretch it out a little bit. Actually, that's a good call. Sometimes I'll get, I'll get so focused on playing and what I'm doing that I won't even register that um, my hands are tight or, or in pain, which isn't a good thing because you can seriously injure yourself that way. <laughs> so it's always good to take frequent breaks. Give them a little bit of a room to breathe. So everyone seems to be doing okay with the crazy stretchy stuff, which is really good news. Getting um, strength in addition to the stretch is it's really it's hard. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not easy to get um, a stretch with the speed. Usually, a lot of guys I see that have precision and speed, they typically work in a very finite area, like between one and three frets, maybe four frets. But then you'll see guys that do crazy stretchy stuff. Uh, Alan Holdsworth or whatever. Now he does get up some good precision and speed, but sometimes you'll see him just lean towards stretchy, like jazzy stuff. But hopefully you guys can do stretchy and precise and fast. At least that's my goal. Let's take a look at our notes. I want you to scroll down just a little bit. Okay. We're going to do it all. <laughs> Uh, scroll down to 133. Um, where did we leave off? We did that. We did 133D. Scroll down to 133E. Okay, now notice in the tablature here, in 133E, you see those little bitty um, sort of little curvy things above the notes in the tablature there. What that means is essentially that we're going to do uh, hammer-ons, but we're not going to be using open strings. So 133E, what I want you to do, strike once like we've been doing, but we're not going to use an open note. We're going to go... So strike once, and then hammer but I want you to palm mute while we're doing this so that it sounds like this. Okay. So strike the first note, hammer on the next two, and palm mute the whole thing. March that up. 
Hey, Grace. Grace can't hear me. We are using Google Hangouts today. GMC video is broke. Okay, so does 133E make sense? Basically, yes, it's so intense it blew up the video. <laughs> Let's slow down 120, I think might work. Okay, quick demo. Okay, so notice I'm only striking that first note. Okay, so loop that with me. One, two, one, two, three, four. Ooh, died for a minute. All right, is that doable? Everyone's hands uh, okay with that? Sweet. Here's what I want to do. Play each position four times. So move up one fret. Right? So let's play it, say 120 to start with. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. I've been messing with Google Plus and not playing. Well, why would you admit that, for God's sake? <laughs> so, uh, for those of you that were playing, did that work? Let's try 130. Same thing, four times each position. Palm mute. One, two. One, two, three, four. Oh, yes, the sound thingy. Yes, I forgot about that. Evidently, if I play more than a little bit, it starts to sound wonky. But hopefully, hopefully just ignore that. <laughs> Here we go. One, two. Okay, let's speed up again. We're going pretty slow, but eventually what I'm trying to get you to work up towards is being able to play sort of a, a shreddy type of lick that sounds like you're doing a lot more than you are because we're only striking once, but if you're palm muted, it'll sound like you're striking all of them, right? So let's try 140. One, two, one, two, three, four. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, it's an awesomeness limiter. It limits the awesomeness. Let's try 150. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, tell you what, because we're going to be speeding up, let's cut down to twice per position. So let's go to 160 and play twice per position. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yes, it is quite the workout. Here's 170. Twice per position. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's one eighty, same drill. One, two, one, two, three, four. Goes one ninety. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's totally cool. Let's back off the speed. Let's go back to one sixty. Move up to the A string. So here we go, 160, twice each position. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, now combo. We're going to do three strings. So, first position, okay. Back up here, fifth fret, we're going to go. Okay, strike once per string, hammer on the rest, and keep your palm mute. So it's a little harder. Oh, <laughs> what's wrong, Blister? And I'm just fretting all this with the first finger at once, so I don't have to lift off. So let's slow down maybe to 150. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's try that and play it like we were doing, where we move up. So. And the. A, let that be the last thing we play, then move up one. So, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, let's speed up. Here's one sixty.
Okay. Give your hands a little bit of a break there because that's a lot of tension to put on them. What do you think? How's that feel? Do you think you could work up some serious speed on that with a little bit of practice? Hopefully. I totally hear you, Blister. This particular lick makes a really good um, left-hand strength type of lick because you're doing straight hammer-ons and you're doing them against a palm mute. And the palm mute is trying to deaden the strings while the fretting is trying to activate the strings. Right? So it's a serious left-hand workout. You know, and once you get it, it can sound like you're really blazing, right? Because of the muted hammer on. The muted hammer on is a big secret of shredding, just in general, because it makes it sound like you're picking everything when in fact you're only picking one out of every three, right? If you're doing a muted hammer on, it just sounds a lot more active than um, in terms of the, the picking than what you're actually doing. See what I'm saying? Sounds like there's a lot more happening. I'm only picking one out of every three of those notes. But it sounds like you're picking a lot more. So, yeah. Um, let's try and stretch that a little bit. Take what we were just doing, instead of going five, seven, nine, try and go five, seven, ten. Okay? So. And just on two strings. Not that fast. But see if your pinky can reach that. If it can't, that's totally okay. But let me know if it can. But just two strings for now. See what I'm saying? Let's see if we can loop that. It's a bit of a stretch. Let's see. Yes, feel the burn. Let's go back to 150 and just stay there at that one position and just loop that, okay? Here we go. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. One sixty, strike once per three note group. Here we go. One. Two, one, two, three, four. Okay, here comes one seventy. One, two, one, two, three, four. One eighty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, let's try and add our third string back in. Okay. So go. Okay. 
all the way up and down. So. <laughs> Not that fast, but that's what it will sound like. Okay? Let's go back down to 150. <laughs> I think so. Actually, let's let's shake them out a little bit before we do this, okay? Shake them out a little bit. Have a drink of water. Do a little stretch. Give them a little break. Right? Well, we have once we got once we got moving, we have been just going pretty much straight. I mean, normally we uh, we sort of stop and have a talk, uh, chat about something, but we really haven't. We've just sort of dove in and been just pushing it the whole time. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. All right, here we go. So 150, and do it on three strings. All right, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, here goes one sixty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's one seventy. All right. One, two, four, two, three, four. Everyone else is at Crazy Land. Here's one eighty for fun. One, two, one, two, three, four. As you, as you practice that, add that into your practice this week. That makes a really good left-hand workout, and it's got the pinky in there. So you've got a really big stretch, and you've got a pinky thing, and you've got to hit it just so, right, like on the beat, or it doesn't sound right. Because the whole point of the lick is that it's symmetrical in terms of the timing. It's... Right? So try that. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could pause the live stuff. That's pretty handy. Very cool. So take that lick and see if you can move it around. Um, as you move that lick down, it will get harder and harder and harder. Okay? So I'm not going to kill your hand with it today, but um, try to move it down. So we were doing it here. Right? Just by yourself. We're not going to do them, but take your hand and move that lick down and see if you can still reach it. Like, move it down a couple of frets. See what I'm saying? It gets harder and harder the lower you go. Right? That's all the way at the first fret. So it's a really good way to work your stretch. But don't worry about that right now if it doesn't quite work for you. You can sort of work your way into it, you know? And it's not that hard once, once you sort of get used to it. You just have to find where your hand wants to rest in order to make that work. Right? Because there's not that much sort of leeway in terms of what your hand can do and where it can sit if you want to actually reach that. But you can do it. Four note per string is very cool. That's the one three six. You could do an open string with it. <laughs> right. 
let's move on to our next bit. Scroll down a little bit. Look at 133 part F. Here is actually what I was trying to build up to this whole time. So, oh, there goes Grace. No, she's back. So take a look at 133F. This is what I'm trying to build your hand up to, sort of, right? Now notice there's no longer any up or down pig strike notation, and there's three of those little wavy things. What that means is it's all left hand, okay? There's no strikes. So this is very similar to the bet you can't play this thing, okay? It's all left hand strikes. So five, seven, nine. So palm mute, put your pick down, and just palm mute, right, like this, and strike using only your left hand. Okay. And we're moving up one foot. Right? So it's an entirely left-handed workout. And that's kind of what we've been building towards. So hopefully your hand's not so worn that it can't pull this off. <laughs> but give it a shot for a minute, and let me find a slow pace on the metronome. Maybe 120. May I work? Okay, so no picking. Put your pick down, palm mute. Just mute your whole bridge. Okay. How's that? Is that workable or is that in the crazy town? I know Blister's probably going to say it's too easy for him, but he's going to do doubles. <laughs> Palm muted doubles without picking. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. That's a little crazy. So maybe 120 demo. So just loop that with me. So no picking. Just palm muted here. Whoop. You're a sick man. <laughs> yeah, the doubles with no right hand are pretty tough. That's pretty tough, but we're not doing that quite, quite yet. So here we go. One. <laughs> yes, actually, I'm taking my little, my little, um, I'm going to the party as a metalhead, so I've got my little amp, and I've got a, like an 80s, uh, hair metal wig. And so I'm going to take this little amp here, right, and uh, somehow strap it to me. And uh, I'm going to go as a shredder. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> ah, this little thing is too fun, man. 
It's going to be spiff. So how how um how's that working? Is everyone's hand able to do that without the pick? Yeah, the peg pops on off. This thing's awesome. This little guy, he plugs right into your guitar. So like this is the Joe Satriani one. So it plugs in right there and then you can put like headphones right there. And it's got like a little bit of delay on it and such. It's pretty spiff. I am way into it. It's pretty neat. I was thinking I might take my um it might be too much to carry, but I might take my suck knob, and that can be the audience participation thing, where they uh, they can decide how much suck should be in the signal. And I might take my metal muff, because the metal muff, actually, I, I hooked it up last night. If you put the metal muff in the chain before this little thing, it sounds pretty cool. It gets a uh, pretty decent gain, and you can actually you know, really play. <laughs> but I don't know how I'm going to carry all this crap to the party, you know. So we'll have to see. It's a lot of crap to tote. And I was thinking I might use, uh, I might take this guitar just because it looks just so friggin' metal, you know, and just walk around, you know, with this and with the amp. <laughs> Good stuff. So metal. Or heck, I might take the uh, the, the Xiphos. Just sort of depends, because the the Xiphos is pretty freaking metal ball by itself. Just as far as metal goes. This is a heavy metal guitar. <laughs> ah. Right? <laughs> it's about as metal as you get. Right. <laughs> ah. Good stuff. So yeah, let's let's try our last bit here. Um, what I want to try and do is put pick down, play it only with your left hand and march it up. So, go. Right? So play it twice. And then move it up one fret. Okay. Now let's not play it that fast. Here's 130. Yes, palm mute. No picking. Just... Sticking my hand on the bridge flat to palm you. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's go to one forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Sixty. One, two, one, two, three, four. 
170. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oops, sorry. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's try 180. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's 190. Here we go. One seventy is still pretty good. How about everyone else? What's uh, what's the speed feeling like for you? The good news is, with some practice, the speed will ramp up really quick. It's like you'll notice all of a sudden it just goes. Rah. Okay, here's two hundred. While we're here for giggles and bits. One, two. I'm not sure what I was doing as a fast speed. Just for reference, here's 240. I think it was around there. Here's 250. That's getting brisk. Here's 260. So, as um as you get faster and faster, it uh, it actually seems to smooth out. It actually for some reason it feels easier, faster. <laughs> I don't know why, but once you get it to a certain speed, it seems to smooth out. Like um, I don't know, it's like a like a car that behaves better at 100 miles an hour than 50. <laughs> but as you as you speed up faster and faster. Um, I think it's like the brain sort of like clicks to it, and because there's very little space in between the notes, it eventually will feel it'll feel easier. So give that some practice this week. Before we bail, though, what I want you to try is our pinky little stretch trick. So let's do what we were doing before, but let's do it without picking. So five, seven. Ten. Okay, but without picking. Just palm mute. Okay, so just take your pick, put it down, lay your hand on your bridge. And make the pinky stretch. We did, but we were picking it before. We were using our pick and going... Now we're not using the pick. We're just using the left hand. Okay? So set your pick all the way down and just hammer on. Okay? And we'll just loop it in one spot. Does that make sense? Be trying? Let's, here's 160. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, well, cool. <laughs> You're ahead of the game, dude. Here's 170, just loop it, same spot. One, two, one, two, 
How's that? Is uh is it working with uh with the pinky thing in there? As a left hand only thing? Now the same way that we did uh sort of longer versions as you move down the neck when we were using our pick. Right? You can do those same types of things with just the hammer on version just gets a lot harder. <laughs> can feel the burn. <laughs> Let's try without a pick doing three strings, okay, with the pinky stretch. All right? So Okay, all three. Okay? Let's not go that fast though. Here's 160. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, here's 170. How's that working with all three strings and the pinky stretch? Feeling the burn, flowing with the motion, breathing with the feeling. I miss my pick. <laughs> I think everyone's arms are too burned out to type. <laughs> well, I got to say, everyone, well played today. Even though we had uh, the return of technical difficulties, which is never, never a fun thing, the good news is we were able to transition and still move forward and didn't have to bail and kill it, which is always a good thing. So um, try this week as you go to do the crazy stretch stuff like we were talking about and see if you can push it faster and faster and further and further down the neck. Not the good technical difficulties, the bad one. <laughs> I used to know that, that riff. I forgot it. What was it? It's a cool one. I can't remember what it was. But yeah, happy Halloween, guys. If you do have uh, festivities tonight, do go out and have a big time. But don't drink and drive. It's never a good thing. But you can thrash and drive. <laughs> yeah, Stick Cam is a cool site. It's uh, another, you know, video type of site with, uh, with chat and stuff like that, which is very cool. I'm glad you guys could make it out on All Hallows' Eve. So if you go trick-or-treating tonight, do enjoy yourself. If you're giving out candy, enjoy yourself as well. And um, practice your brains out. If anyone else wants to try the challenge, just record a video, post it as a reply, and I'll check it out. And um, if, you, if you do it, I'll give you the special badge. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, you guys rocked. Everyone was awesome. Thank you very much for coming. And uh, above all, happy Halloween. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. You all rocked. want to make sure this guy saves. I don't want to save him. There we go. I'll see you guys next time. Later.